have learnt about the renewable resource water. In this module, we shall examine the second renewable natural resource, the air. Air is a mixture of gases surrounding the earth. This is also called atmosphere. The air becomes thinner as we go up in the sky. There is no air above 10,000 kilometers from the surface of the earth. The air is mainly composed of nitrogen at 78% and oxygen at 21%. Thus, 99% of air has these two gases. The other gases present in the air are carbon dioxide, hydrogen, water vapors and many more. All these gases are constantly removed from atmosphere and replaced in the same proportion by living and non-living organisms. Thus, gases are exchanged between living and non-living systems of earth. The renewal of air mainly involves three processes. They are nitrogen cycle, oxygen cycle and carbon cycle. The nitrogen present in the air cannot be directly absorbed by plants. It has to be converted into nitrates, nitrites and ammonia. There are some blue-green algae and bacteria that can fix nitrogen in their protoplasm. This ammonia is utilized by the plants. Nitrogen in atmosphere is also converted to nitrates by lightning. These nitrates in the atmosphere dissolve in rain and reach the earth. Plants procure these nitrates from soil. When plants and animals die, they decompose and the nitrogen is released into atmosphere and some of it may be fixed in the soil. Thus, the cycle goes on. Oxygen is present both in air and water. The amount of oxygen in air and water are maintained in equilibrium. Aquatic animals procure oxygen directly from water. The terrestrial animals procure oxygen from air. The byproducts of respiration that is carbon dioxide and water are utilized for photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is released when fuels like petrol, wood and coal are burned. This is also fixed by plants during photosynthesis. The byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen. It is released into the air. In this way, the amount of oxygen present in the air is constantly maintained. In the upper layers of atmosphere, oxygen is in the form of ozone. Ozone molecule has three atoms of oxygen. Ozone forms a blanket or cover over the atmosphere. It prevents the UV or ultraviolet rays reaching the earth by absorbing them. UV rays are dangerous to living organisms as they can damage chromosomes and cause cancer. Plants utilize carbon dioxide and use it in photosynthesis to produce glucose. Some glucose is used by plants and some is converted into starch. When animals eat plants, this starch is used by animals and carbon dioxide is released. Decomposition of dead bodies of animals and plants also release carbon dioxide. There is another use of carbon dioxide known as the greenhouse effect. When earth receives sunlight, it gets heated up and releases infrared rays. These infrared rays are absorbed by carbon dioxide and keep the earth warm. In the absence or decrease of carbon dioxide, the earth 
cools down to very low temperatures. Thus, air is a renewable resource. The balance of all gases has to be properly maintained. However, pollution of air by chemicals results in toxic effects on plants and animals. Industries release sulfur dioxide into atmosphere. This dissolves in the air and forms sulfuric acid. This acid reaches the ground as acid rain and gets deposited on animals and plants or buildings and destroys them. Carbon dioxide released in huge quantities by automobile and industries results in the increase in the temperature of earth. Compounds like chlorofluorocarbons released by perfumes, refrigerators and aeroplanes deplete the ozone layer by converting ozone to oxygen. Depletion of this layer results in the UV radiation reaching the earth and destroys the living organisms. It is our prime duty to maintain the nature's balance. The present atmosphere is not what it was a few decades ago. It has been upset due to pollution. Pollution is the main cause of so many diseases, increase in temperature of earth, droughts, flood, soil erosions, etc. So we need to control this pollution. <laughs>